Follow along today as I show you how to cook a simple pork loin roast on a Weber grill. It's a great alternative to a turkey or a ham for the holidays. It's a little bit cheaper, a little bit easier to cook, and it's guaranteed to always please the crowd. Let's get started. All right, guys, we've got our pork loin end that we've cut off of our whole pork loin. And this started off as a prairie fresh pork loin, one of the large ones, and we've cut the end off of it here. So the only thing that I wanna do is trim a little bit of the excess fat off of it and some of the gristle, but that's pretty much it. Now, when I get down here, you can see coming the fat hanging on, I'm gonna trim that off on one end and just follow that down, kind of cut some of that off, just clean it up just a little bit. Now, you can save this if you want to, to kind of use. Now, I wanna trim a little bit of this fat off right here on the end, just kind of shake this up a little bit is all I'm doing. Now, for today's seasoning, I'm gonna use a little bit of my beef rub on this. Even though it says beef rub, it's salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, a little bit of red pepper. I mean, it's just honestly just a good salt and pepper blended rub. With a few other added ingredients, of course. So once I kind of get that shaped up, I'm gonna turn that over. Now this fat cap on here, I'm actually gonna leave on here but I'm gonna take and just kinda kinda score that just a little bit. But when I put it on my Weber grill, it will help it just a little bit crisp up. Or render down would be a better way to say it. Now, as you'll see, I got that all scored up, all nice and good there. You can see I've got a disposable cutting board here I've been trimming on so I didn't get my big board dirty. Now, let's go ahead and get it back on my sheet pan and get it seasoned up. All right, once you get it trimmed up to your liking, you may not have wanted to trim anything off of it. That choice is completely up to you too. I'm gonna take a little bit of duck fat spray here as a binder and then get some beef rub on. Just kinda, kinda rub that in a little bit. All right, now let's take this beef rub. It's a little more coarse than some of my other rubs. And I love the flavor that it puts. It's just the simplicity of the rub. You can actually taste the meat really good. It's not a lot of different flavors. The salt, pepper, garlic really comes through. And it's got a pungent amount of heat in it. So that way it's got a little bit of spice level to it. So this is a great alternative if you're not wanting to cook a turkey for Thanksgiving or you can't find one or you're not wanting to spend as much time on it. A pork tenderloin or a loin roast is one of the best things you can do, in my opinion, as an alternative. It's a great replacer at Christmas as well. Or just great to season up and make some sandwiches out of. Once we've got it all seasoned up, we're about ready to go on our Weber grill. All right, we've got our Weber set up with our charcoal baskets on each side of our 22 inch Weber here. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my pork tenderloin in the middle. We're running about 400 degrees. We've barely got the air stacks open here. So let's get it off. You can see how we've got a little bit of charcoal over here, a little bit of charcoal over here. So we're gonna go direct in the middle with this big old five pound, this is about a five, five and a half pound pork tenderloin roast. So I'm gonna go right in the middle here, fat side down, and I'm gonna shut the grill lid and I'm gonna check on it in about 20 minutes. All right, now that our pork tenderloin has been on for about 45 minutes, I've got a tablespoon of butter in my cast iron pot here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour in some sweet barbecue sauce here. I'm gonna say I'm gonna pour in about whatever's left in this bottle, maybe two thirds of a cup, a um, little over half a cup, just whatever, you're just eyeballing it. Now, once you get it in there, I'm gonna take some Smucker's 
orange marmalade jam, jelly, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to put a big heaping tablespoon. There's not but a little bit left in here. A little bit more there. Now, so if I had to call that about two tablespoons fully, I've got it in there. I'm going to get it over here on my Weber grill, kind of by the pork tenderloin to start warming up. And this is what I'm going to base on that when it's almost finished. All right, our pork tenderloin's been on about 50 minutes. I'm going to get in here and check it. We've had our glaze on about 10 minutes heating up. Let's see where we're at on everything. Now, I'm going to come in here on the side of this. We're sitting at about 130 degrees. So in my opinion, I'm going to go ahead and start glazing this pork tenderloin. So I'm pretty sure our glaze is warmed up enough here. Let's just start basting it on. You can see the nice, beautiful color that this glaze has given us with a little bit of orange in it and a little bit of pop. This is gonna be a great pork tenderloin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab it with my tongs here and try to get a little bit on the bottom side. I'm gonna turn this over here and get a little bit on that fat side now. Now, once I get all that painted up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back over. Scoot it back over here. And get a little more on that top that we got off there. And I'm gonna get this grill lid shut and let that glaze get seared on there. All right, we're an hour and five minutes in here. Our pork tenderloin is looking gorgeous. You can see that glaze has kind of bubbled up on there. And I'm gonna go in here and we're hitting 147 degrees right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I think let's get this thing off, get it on a sheet pan and let it get rested for about 15 or 20 minutes and let's slice into it. Oh yeah, look how beautiful that is. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous pork tenderloin roast. All right, just to recap about our pork loin roast. All we did was take a pork, a huge pork loin, cut it down to about five pounds, trim a little bit of fat off of it, score the fat on the bottom side, and put it on our Weber grill at about 375 to 400 degrees in the middle of the grate. We put the fire on the outsides and let that fire come up, kind of act like natural convection in that dome with the air pushing from the bottom. We used our beef rub on it, which is a different alternative to especially a piece of pork. It's just a heavier salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of paprika, red pepper. So it's got a little bit of spicy bite. So I wanted to bring back an element to help balance all that out. So I used some sweet sauce, some orange marmalade jelly to balance it all out and glaze on it to end. We cooked this pork loin to 147 degrees and I can't wait to get in here to slice in it. Here we go. I'm gonna go right down the middle here. Let's look at this reveal shot. Oh yeah, look at that. That pork loin is gonna be juicy and tender. Let's shave a bite off here. Oh yeah, just look at that. Oh. You already know I gotta cut a good center bite out of here. Let's get in here and try this thing. And look, we let this thing set out here for about 20 minutes after we pulled it off the pit. We had a total cook time about an hour and five minutes. You know, just glazing this loin up, keeping it simple, and all the moisture, it, it honestly, oh, look at that. That's why this Prairie Fresh, everything you've seen me cook Prairie Fresh is just dripping with moisture. There's a reason why I love it. You know the flavor's gonna be good.
It's tender, it's juicy, it's got a nice good tender bite to it. It's got a little bit of back end heat from that pepper in that beef rub. And coming off of that sweet and that orange marmalade on top of it helps it balance out perfect. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and even YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video.